We were robbed. As a big fan, you probably thought that you watched all the total drama scenes and knew everything about the series. However, what you didn't know is that over the years, the creators from Fresh TV decided to hide or completely erase some total drama scenes and media pieces in order to maintain their influence over the ratings. But what are these lost media pieces? And most importantly, why were they erased? Stay tuned because in today's episode, we are going to find out. Number 1. A lot of fans complain about the Pocket 2 Islands cast. It felt like after two generations of great characters, Fresh TV just ran out of ideas and randomly picked 14 stereotypes. However, this is not very far from the truth, because in one lost exclusive clip, we see a scene in which Chris destroyed almost all the audition tapes, except the ones of the new cast. Unfortunately, we only found the Italian version of the clip, since the English one was completely erased from the internet. Luckily, a fan helped us with the translation in the comments. Number 2. After the success of Total Drama Island, the creators from Fresh TV thought it would be a great idea to release the DVD version of the season. However, instead of putting on the DVD the official season, they decided to make a special version of it, in which they planned to change Lindsay's iconic cursing scene. The big difference would have been that at the end of the cursing, instead of talking about Heather's tacky shoes, her line was supposed to be, your poop is so fake. However, some parents found out about it, and they made a petition to not include the scene in the DVD version. The only people that still have the copies of that special edition are Tom McGillis, one of the creators and executive producer, and Stephanie Ann Mills, the actress that played Lindsay's voice. Number 3. The fart jokes and the gross eating challenges are probably the most hated thing about Total Drama. However, the creators took it a little too far in Total Drama Island. In the Canadian version of the episode, Brunch of Disgustingness, Chef said that one of the foods the contestants needed to eat was It's beef testicle, Borginio. The producers from Cartoon Network most likely saw the scene and instantly thought it was too much. Because in the American version, the word was replaced by meatballs. After that, we still got the crying bull on the screen, indicating to us that they were not actually meatballs. Number 4. Back in 2007, it was pretty common for people to make more offensive jokes. That could explain why in this original uncensored scene from Total Drama Island, Chef calls Owen Come closer, fat boy! I didn't hear you! But 2007 or not, the producers from Cartoon Network thought that this scene was too much for the kids, so they changed it with... Come closer, big guy! Number 5. Although Chris can be a menace, from time to time he knew how to reward the competitors. In one lost exclusive clip, he even let DJ fly the jumbo jet as a reward after getting rid of his curse. But apparently, the curse was just taking a break since 5 seconds later, DJ managed to hit some geese like there were some GTA NPCs. The clip got mostly wiped off the internet, but someone saved it by recording their TV during that scene. Number 6. Over the years, there were lots of debates about who is the best total drama couple. Although the question is kind of up in the air, since it depends on who you ask, most of the fans were shocked when Chef revealed who is his favorite couple. Back in the time when Total Drama World Tour was rolling on TV, you could have asked Chef any question on the Teletoon website, and the best questions were then answered in short exclusive clips. One of the best is the one in which he says that, I'm a big Duncan and Courtney fan myself. Yes, Lara, they're a lovely couple. Besides this one, there were a lot of other interesting clips that revealed things like Chef's biggest fear and how he learned how to fly the plane. Chris McLean is so damn cheap. It's told me to go and Google how to fly a plane. We will leave the link for them in the description. Number 7. Most likely, we all thought about how fun it would be to create our own Total Drama character. But most of us didn't know that this was actually possible for a period of time. Back in 2010, there was a game called Total Drama Avatar Creator, in which you could create your own Total Drama character. In the game, there were 6 templates, and a variety of clothing, hair, and facial details that could have been customized by the creator. Unfortunately, the game was on the official Total Drama website, so after the site went down in 2014, the game was lost forever. Number 8. The scene when Heather's shirt is torn by a branch is probably one of the most memorable scenes in all of Total Drama's history. Especially for those whose parents entered the room during this scene. However, at some point, there was a lot of controversy made around the fact that there would exist an uncensored version of the scene. Whoa, 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 calm down, brothers. It's not real. At least not in the way we thought it would be. The scene exists on YouTube, but it wasn't created by Fresh TV. Apparently, it was made by a fan, most likely a Discord moderator. 
Although it isn't real, we decided to add it here since a lot of people thought that Fresh TV was really capable of creating something like this. Number 9. Chris might be a maniac, but even he couldn't be mean to a kid. During Total Drama World Tour, there was an online contest on the Teletoon website called Total Drama Casting Call, in which the winner got the chance to interview Chris McLean. Apparently, the winner was a young girl called Erin Tapley. Since she won, she got her own animated Total Drama character and voice recorded with Christian Potenza. The interview gave us a lot of interesting hints about the show, like the fact that Chef is not actually forced by Chris to wear dresses. I don't make Chef do anything. That whole dress thing, that's his own thing. Number 10. We know that Chris was pretty devastated after Sierra blew up the jumbo jet, especially because all of his hair products blew up with it. However, most of us didn't know that he even gave a last speech in memory of the jumbo jet. At the end of the episode, aw, drumheller, there was a lost exclusive scene in which Chris talked and reflected about what the really important things in life are. Unfortunately, the only decent version of it is the one in Romanian, but it has subtitles. Number 11. Before the TikTok era, the Total Drama exclusive clips were like a perfect break between episodes. One of the most random and funniest lost exclusive clips must be Owen's drop of shame from Total Drama World Tour. In this clip, he talks about his favorite food and then ironically gets himself on a table with sharks. Literally. He clearly was fine since he makes a cameo at the end of Total Drama All Stars, but considering how hungry he was, we should rather worry about what happened to the sharks. Number 12. Besides her being a Total Drama contestant, we know that Sierra was also very involved in social media with her blog. But did you know that she intended to participate in another reality show? In one lost exclusive clip from Total Drama World Tour, we were shown Sierra and Cody making an audition tape for a show which was supposed to help couples during difficult times in their relationship. The funny part is that Cody was pretty much unconscious during the audition tape. <laughs> Number 13. One of the main reasons why Total Drama was such a menace for a Cartoon Network show is because it was actually made for tweens and not for kids. But although most of these scenes were censored by just changing the lines, there was one scene that was so bad that they had to remove it completely. In the fifth episode of Total Drama World Tour called Broadway Baby, there was a scene where Cody fell between the Statue of Liberty's nice. jewelry. Not only that, but then we got a scene when Cody and Chef talks about how his life nearly ended there. After which, Chef replies, But what a way to go! <laughs> True that! It is understandable why the creators chose to remove this scene. Just imagine explaining to an 8 year old kid what is so awesome about finding your end like that. Number 14. Total drama usually has the effect of completely changing people's lives. This show turned a delinquent into a nice guy, a cool dude into a simp, and a spoiled girl into an MMA fighter. If you don't know who we are talking about, you probably missed some Total Drama Revenge of the Island exclusive scenes, because one of them shows how after the events from Total Drama, Dakota reprofiled from being a supermodel to becoming the next Mike Tyson. Gentlemen, introducing the Dakota Zone. There's your cue. Break a leg. Number 15. Before Total Drama World Tour even aired its first episode, the creators from Fresh TV started to work on Revenge of the Island. The first concept of the season was very different from what we have today. Most of the cast's designs were unrecognizable, and even the original name was different, the season being initially called Total Drama Reloaded. Christian Potenza even made a YouTube promotion of the season with the old name and changed it a year later. However, we never saw any actual animation of this original concept. On the other hand, the story behind the original version of Total Drama Island 2007 is way more interesting. Fortunately, we have a video about it. So there it is, guys. What is your favorite censored or lost media scene from Total Drama? Make sure to tell us in the comments. See you next time with a brand new video.